Hello, everyone, my daughter is today. I bought another thing. This is a tower from Infinity War. Sit from yeah, in the Infinity oh, fuck. Stay the fuck down, Mr. Bean. So, yeah, this is Tor Tor Marvel Legends Tor from the Infinity War. It's, it's the repackage, like the like the um, the uh, the what's the name? Uh, the international release which comes which uh, has. The whole wave of the Infinity War figures, like the full a full wave, which builds Thanos. But I, I wait. And it's the wave is contained full of like Infinity War figures. I had the box for this, but I don't know where I put it. Put the box. But here's the Thanos set that it kind of it came with. I'm gonna just start off by showing this. I don't really show build the figure pieces, but like I got like it is in all Thanos pieces. But we go, we we move, we move. Yeah, see that we. We move at the head that head this head needs to be replaced. The, I need to add another leg and I need to find another arm which suits this figure. So then my um my evil character is complete. It's not gonna be Thanos because it has the Thanos body and the head and the Thanos uh, infinity or Thanos uh, legs but like the arms this leg this arm is gonna be different and this head is gonna go I don't know where yeah, I might just Cut the peg off, cut the peg off, and make it a ball joint, and do something else. I don't know, maybe. <sighs> so with that out of the way, the head sculpt. I'm gonna just start off. No, not the head sculpt. Start off with the strong breaker. Strong breaker is nice. Yeah. By the way, I I don't really like this, but like you can see that. Okay, you can really see that right here. Wait, can you? Yeah, you can really see that. So, okay, that's it's just full of details. By the way, so you can really see that the um this Omega Pickaxe. This this portion is just like opaque. It's not like completely silver like this one. It's just a little bit opaque. It it can it's a little bit see through. It just annoys me to a little extent. But like for example, if you like shine light into it, I'll show you what I'm saying. Uh, you just got a uh, uh, it's a light. That's a light. See that? See how opaque that is? It's like the this part. The Hammer, hammer kind of piece. He does, doesn't do that. This piece does that. If I don't know if it's supposed to be like light piping, but it, it bothers me to an extent. Um, second thing is that why is it so bendy? It's literally wood. It's a storm breaker. It's supposed to be more like you know, like a stick. For example, this broker of Kylo Ren lightsaber. It's the first issue Kylo Ren from the Force Awakens. This piece has. The relate. It's not that bendy. It's not bendy as this. This is just too much bendy, especially here. Why is it this bendy? It's just only for my version of art. Like look, look at that. It just jiggles. Why is it this bendy? Like it doesn't didn't have to be this bendy. Like it would have been if this thing would have been solid. The wood thing has this handle. Yeah, this I might just call the whole thing a handle. If this whole thing had been so solid, it would have been really nice. Cause like it wouldn't bend every single time. Fucking. When you move the figure, like if you're putting in his, uh, him in, in the figure's arm and they move like this, okay, that's another issue. Move like this, it just jiggles like it's what the fuck. I bet the uh, yeah, the knockoff thoughts, the knockoff thoughts, strong breaker is better than this because it, it probably is solid plastic, like and like this. I expected this Marvel Legend Storm Breaker to be. Little more, little bit more uh, nice, and the painting is trash. Why the fuck is there uh, wood of uh, silver over the wood, which is trash? Where my pointer go? Yeah, there we go. Like, I can see why this section has silver because it's supposed to be silver. It's this is a whole wait. It was it? Oh no! It wait. What was it like that in the movie? I. I don't know. I can just slide off this section being silver because I just let's just assume this is one piece, which is why it, which is was, which is which. Like I can't speak English properly, right I now. I don't know why. Which it was in in the movie. This piece and this piece were two different pieces, molded together with Groot's arm. But like, I don't know, man. That silver without the silver there and the silver on the. Uh, the wines, the root wines things is just 
I don't know man, it's a forty dollar figure. Forty dollar here here at least. Like they can surely do better than this. They can surely do better than this, like it's supposed to be the most high class Strongbreaker in the Marvel Legends series. As soon as in the one stole one toll, yeah. One stole one toll one toll one toll, yeah. One sixth one toll, yeah. One toll thing, one toll scale, this is the most so this is supposed to be the most this is supposed to be the best one to one toll scale Stormbreaker and it this and it, and they gave me this piece of shit. Like I expected this to be more solid, I expected this to didn't have this paint shit over here. I mean it's Marvel Legends, you can expect a lot of shit from them. But like this is too much. I expected they would do this really nicely this wave, but like the storm break is just meh. I mean he can hold it, it works, it, it does its job. But like if you're actually going to play with it or if you're actually gonna pause it daily, it's a meh. I mean they could have easily done a better job than this. Just bends. The fuck is with that? Moving the storm break to the breaker out of the way. The head sculpt is really, really nice. I really like the head sculpt. Like if you look like this, that looks like a Santos Hemsworth. If you look like this, yeah, it kind of looks like him. If you look like this, uh, doesn't really. I mean, not at all. But like the side views, it really does. Like that, that side view just really is there. Screams his Chris Hemsworth. That side view, and that's nice. And he has a different eye color. Can you see that focus? Can you focus? Yeah, he has the different eye colors because one eye is prosthetic, one eye isn't. And he got the nice hair. I don't really why. I don't really get that. This is painted in here. This is sculpted. I don't really get that. But I guess his hair is a bowl cut. This is a bowl cut. I feel like this is a bowl cut, but it just looks sloppy. I guess in the movie it is also sloppy. Because because it was cut cut by fucking Stan Lee, rip the legend Stan Lee by the way. So that's that, and the figure head sculpt is really nice, yeah. So the head sculpt is removable. Just a standard ball peg, and I really like the white that they use for the skin tone. So moving down, the cape I really like love the cape. I really really love the cape. I wish I wish it was detachable. Like I mean, it, it shouldn't be detachable, but I really like the cape. It just flows. It just looks magnificent. Look at the cape. Look at the cape. I mean, if he just uh, does this, that's that's so custom sort. Oh shit, that's so sort of. This cape is so shitty nice, and it's, it got the black here. Oh, it's just so sick. So. I don't know, and moving on to the body, I don't know if I will, but like I might paint these orbs, this uh, round circle thing silver, like this silver, I, I might do that. And uh, the arms have the mesh, this is a mesh, I don't know, it has the chain metal kind of thing, it has a little, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you shine light into it, it has a little golden kind of, uh, golden kind of covering over here, like right? them. Rainbow fidget spinners. Who remembers fidget spinners, by the way? Comment down below. So that's that. And it, it, I mean, it, they could have done it without that little golden kind of thing, but it looks nice with it, I guess. It is unnecessary, but it's nice, I guess. And the these hands, these hands look a little weird because it looks like it is a boom, newborn baby's hands. I don't know why. But the nails have sculpted in pretty, pretty amazingly nicely. But the hands just doesn't. Doesn't really scream manly, it's just some sort of like um, I, I don't really have a lot of figures with hands which, which are skin tone that's called exposed hands. Most of the hands I have is gloved, most of the hands, all the figures I have is gloved, like this hand from Wolverine, and yeah, most of them. So that's that, and um, yeah, that's I guess that's awarded for the Kyushi. No, Kyushi, no, 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 never mind. So another thing that I don't like is that I mean I guess Wakanda is kind of a desert place. It's in Africa. I guess it's kind of a uh, kind of desert, kind of muddy place. Why the fuck does he have mud here? Why the fuck does he have mud here? It ruined the legs in my opinion. But it looks sick, I guess. But I don't I don't really personally like it. I mean, if this is supposed to be the appearance of Thor from Wakanda, I can kind of kind of kind of agree. Because like it's a muddy place and he's just been through a uh, oh warm mirror or something. No, that's the place with the soul stone, I think. 
I don't know the place with the dwarf where he made the the um, stormbreaker. So I guess that place is also muddy, but he just got mud all over the uh, boots and shoes, which I might I might paint paint it black because it. If I paint it black, it's gonna match the whole body. I might do that. I might. So moving on, another thing I don't really like is that the uh, the hands doesn't hold the stormbreaker. It holds it like this, which is nice. Uh, but it like if you like move it or something, it just holds it like this, which is a problem with most of the uh, uh, staffs and stuff because the top is just heavyweight, the bottom is in heavyweight. If you wanna like solve this problem I guess the hands gotta be really really tight which this isn't it's just pliable plastic it's I mean it shouldn't be this soft but it is that soft uh, which is a reason which is an also a reason for the stormbreaker just doing this just doing this this is how we hold holds the figure so if you're buying this for a kid it's just not gonna really work I guess Unless you have another pair of skin tone ha hands, I might. No, I don't have any ha extra pair of hands, which is like this this kind of hands with without gloves or with gloves. I will, anything will do right now. Like, like um, yeah, it doesn't really work. I guess it just do this. I, I know it's the shit out of me. Plus, uh, I guess this hand. You may be thinking, "Oh, Thor, Thor, this hand has the most gross fist." Fist. First of all, Thor doesn't hold his Mjolnir or his Stormbreaker on this hand. This this hand, he uses a uses he uses this hand. But if you really want to go for it, I guess you may be thinking it can, but it can't. It just does the same thing, even worse. It's like he's trying to snap with the with the Stormbreaker in his hand. I mean, I'm not being overly negative, but like, this just doesn't work. I mean, even if the, f the f I mean, I'm saying, I mean, it's too much. Even if they fix the plastic for the Stormbreaker, this might not work. Work. Not work. What the fuck am I saying? This might not work. But like, what they gotta do is make the hands a little bit tighter. Like, for example, uh... These Batman hands. Don't ask me what the fuck is wrong with the Batman. This Batman hands. They do not the hands. I mean, it's not supposed to be holding stuff, but it's it kind of does hold it hold it at the same point. But like, for example, this thing. Do this. It isn't. It's still gonna hold on. It just gotta be a little bit of a tight, tighter grip and a little bit of a solid plastic for the hands. Not tight enough. Not be able I mean, not tight enough not be able which is not will not be able to hold the stormbreaker but a little bit tight enough to hold the stormbreaker and without it falling it would have been nice but they didn't I mean I can still work with this I guess I mean I have this knockoff hammer which I painted silver it just looks shit I know I want to get the worthy cap but I don't have the money plus I have already have a Captain America which I will show off the, at the end it's a civil work cap by the way. So yeah, it holds both of the stuff in his hands. If you see that, okay, he, you see that? The hands, the stormbreaker just pops off if you shake it too much. I guess if you, you, if you're a collector, you don't shake it too much. But if you're a kid and you're gonna try and play, it's gonna show if you shake it too much, it's gonna pop off. And this bitch is gonna annoy you. And this hand also holds the uh, uh, hammer like this. I, I guess you can say, Oh, Thor, Thor, this is a million, it's a fake me all mare. It doesn't work. It, that's why it doesn't work. Nope. Even if it's a real one, I think it really ain't gonna hold it that well, I think. But like, yeah, I guess you can recreate the poses, I guess, with this. Like, I guess you can do that. I mean,. He had the long hair when he did that. Plus, it, I think it was a different suit. No, it wasn't a different suit, but it, he had the long hair and he was a bit fatter. But, like, still. I guess if you really wanna do this, if you can. The, he will has he will the Stromberger and the Thor Samuel in the meal mail. So, now for size comparisons. He stands, by the way. He's, I forgot to say this. I 
is the major point of my figures. He stands really well, which is nice. Uh, here, see next to the DC basic Batman. Don't ask me why I did what I did with the face. I don't want to answer it. Here, here, see with the Wolverine. Oh, that hurt. Here, see with the Wolverine. Show you Wolverine. I mean, another thing is that this isn't actually 16 inch. I think this is 7 inch. I mean, Thor is supposed to be the hugest of the bunch of the in Trinity of the Marvel. I mean, I am not Captain America. Thor, he's supposed to be the tallest, I think. But still, here's he with the Marvel knockoff Marvel Legends Venom, which is Venom is supposed to be taller than seven inch. I think this is taller than seven inch because the Marvel Select Spider-Man is seven inch. I think this is the knockoff, which is based exactly of the mold of the Marvel Select Venom, which is supposed to be taller than the Marvel Select Spider-Man. So I guess this is technically not seven inch. But the reason I'm saying that the uh, Tori 7 inch is because where's the figure? Where's the fucking figure? The McFarlane Fortnite aim it's exactly 7 inch and I told and I said this this figure is huge in his review. Guess what? He's not huge. He's just the same height as Thor. What? What? In my mind, this figure should be much taller, but shorter. But like, when you're handling this figure, it it, it doesn't feel that tall. But when you like stand it stand well stand together with the other seven inch figures, it's so tall. I'm not doing any camera trick right here. It's it's on its own figures. It's just so tall. So that's that. And with the, I guess you can do uh, the Trinity. Oh yeah, not the Trinity. Yeah, the, the Trinity. Where's the Iron Man? I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm gonna just post the video real quick. Boom, there's the boys. There's the Trinity. There's the fucking Trinity. Iron Man, Captain Omega, Thor, Civil War, Iron Man, Cap, and the Infinity War, Thor. There's the tri Trinity. Iron Man is taller than Captain America, which is normal. Thor is taller than uh, Iron Man, which is uh, a little bit normal, I guess. It's okay. So, yeah, I guess I, c I could buy the mere, uh, Worthy Cap and the uh, new Iron Man, but hey, it's both Cap and Iron Man, so okay, I'll work with that. I didn't have a Thor, so I bought that. So yeah, I think that's about it for the video. My camera is almost about to die. No, I can't fit the hand. I can't do this. So yeah, since camera is about to die. So yeah, subscribe, like, the damn peace. I got go, so, hope the review. So yeah, peace. Bye.